An illegal electrical hookup is said to be the source of a fire that destroyed a man's house on JR Street, Belize City. The blaze occurred just after 6 o'clock on the morning of Sunday, July 25. Despite the efforts of the firefighters, the wooden bungalow house and its contents are nothing now but burnt furniture and ashes. Homeowner, 40-year-old Tyrone Stevens, was not at home when the fire broke out. He says he was visiting his sister when he got the news. One of my next neighbor from across the street where the house at was on fire. She called me and told me the house is burned. Tyron, the house is burned now, and she did cry, so I have to believe, but that kind of left me in a little shock too, because, you know, I believe where I don't want to believe. But I have to believe where I don't want to believe, but I mean, I'm a little shock, so, you know, I just roll it the floor to see when I fly and I said, like, what hurry. And I realized the house burned now by the time I reached back to the truth. In speaking with Stevens hours following the fire, he curiously concluded that the start of the fire was due to a mosquito coil he left unattended. Everything burn up. Everything burn I lose everything. I mean, a barber too. You know, notice then tell her. Yes, ah, my barber supply everything burn, everything gone, everything close, everything. I borrow the suit I got that right now. I leave borrow the suit. No, I'm not shame. This could happen to anybody and worse than this could happen to every uh, anyone. And while it may be sound advice to be aware of the mosquito coils, the supervisor at the National Fire Service, Kenneth Mortiz, says the fire had nothing to do with a burning fish. I must say that um, the fish coil wasn't a contributing factor as he has so justly claimed. Currently, we are leaning towards what we would classify as an electrical overload or abuse of electricity. What happened, Mr. Stevens' structure had an illegal electricity, if I may use such a term, and um, these are those fly-by-night electricians that isn't registered with the um, electrical company. Uh, he, has, he had left on the Lasco fan, which is an expensive but also a very cheap fan, meaning that constant use and constant circulation of this fan without giving the motor time to rest tends to overheat. We found the remains of such, and after we had um, done our investigation on the scene, we, we have concluded that the fire did start as out of a fan. Stephen says the loss is priceless and he welcomes any help to rebuild. He told Love News that staying positive is the only choice he has at this point. But I mean, it was some important documents and some important pictures and so, you know. I can't value nothing, man. I don't want value nothing. Any barbering stuff, clothes, this, that, whatsoever, they might cast, bed, whatsoever, I mean, they and then they got, then they got price they could tag then they come up with a fee but then the day certain things get wrecked and gone away you know work much 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 more to me you check so and, I just have to stay focused and try to be strong and if anybody that want to assist and help a fallen brother so see we yeah, appreciate that to see him you know I greatly appreciate that you know manners and respect to you know if you are willing and able to assist Tyrone Stevens, he can be reached at 623-8621. Reporting for Love News, I am Vijay Alvarez.